tonight's Eye on Education, Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito's take on the challenges students face today. Last week, lawmakers unveiled a new plan to fund public schools here in Massachusetts, the Student Opportunity Act, and it will be debated on Beacon Hill over the next few weeks. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, Polito told me it's a start. We're now seeing a, a, a really major focus on not only resources, not only resources, because resources are important to share with our school districts in the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. but also make sure that we're not compromising accountability and the high standards that have really set Massachusetts apart from other states. What's the number one concern you hear from people? The biggest issue I hear is workforce. So there are a lot of businesses that either are here and want to grow or want to start up or want to locate here and they need to make sure that they have people graduating from our education system with the skills that match the jobs that are growing in their workplaces. What do you say to someone who is frustrated that they feel that your zip code can dictate how good their local school is? What's really important for this Commonwealth because we are a leader in education, mm -hmm. uh, but it needs to work for everyone. We need to make sure that we're addressing achievement gaps and opportunity gaps and that there's access to a great education no matter where you are in this mm -hmm. Commonwealth. Clearly, Massachusetts schools are always considered the top of the nation, but what is it that our school systems in each community can really work on in order to make the STEM um, future bright for children. Technology's changed everything. It's changed the workplace, changed how we consume, changes how we communicate, but it certainly has changed how we educate. The sharing of resources, best practices, STEM education is really important. In fact, the Lieutenant Governor spearheads the effort to promote STEM Week here in Massachusetts, and you'll see STEM programs in schools the week of October 21st. And you can watch my full interview with the Lieutenant Governor on our website, cbsboston.com.